Fed minutes out in just the last hour. Stocks jumping on that news that the Fed officials agree they see smaller rate hikes coming soon. Joining us now is former Kansas City Fed President Thomas Honig. Thomas, great to have you with us. Thank you. Good to be with you, Melissa. Thank you. S slowing down seems to be, you know, expected. It's sort of what the what the end rate should be, what the terminal rate should be. That seems to be the question, Thomas. And so I'm wondering how you think about that. Where should that be? Is it, you know, the markets are pricing in 5 percent by June, um, although Bullard just this week or last week said between 5 and 7 percent would be the restrictive zone. What's your what's your take? Well, I suspect, given the given the discussion that I read in the minutes, that the um, rate will be. Uh, with, you're right; they're going to slow it. It'll be 50 basis point in December, subject to any surprises. Um, and I think, given that they're looking at maybe the potential real G GDP growth being around two and a half percent, to get rates up to five percent, um, they'll they'll want to. That'll be kind of the target. If inflation comes in higher, they'll move it. Higher than five percent, and that's where the, a lot of the discussion in December will focus on what should be the end uh, rate. And I think they're, I think they're talking right now, uh, at least uh, in their public statements, that five, five and a quarter percent is the number. And I think that's probably the number they will be. And then once they get there, and I, I suspect it'll be before June, but once it gets there, then the discussion will turn to how long you leave it, and that's a big issue in terms of making sure you get inflation numbers down towards the 2% for it to stay there. And that will be a big discussion item in the FOMC. I feel like that's even perhaps the bigger issue, and it, or it should be, at least for, for market participants, for investors and traders. That is, you know, how long do we stay at that, at that terminal rate? We don't right. know yet. I think there's a notion in the market that once we get to that terminal rate, the coast is clear. But clearly, that's not, that's not the point. So, you know, when you're thinking about how high we could potentially be at the terminal rate, is it a matter of months? Is it a matter of a year? Well, I would think they would. I think if they were doing it, they should shoot for, say, March and get there in the March uh, time frame. Maybe the next move after that, get to, to the 5 percent level. So 50 basis point increases. And then they need to stay there until inflation comes down below 3 percent or at least in the neighborhood of three percent. If the market, uh, if if the market kind of bullies them into lowering rates sooner than that, then I think the, they have they risk inflation reigniting. Because remember, the consumer is still pretty, pretty uh, engaged in the economy. They're still consuming. Uh, we've seen retail sales still uh, higher than some people thought it would be. So they need to plan on staying there quite a while. And the market needs to accept that. Uh, I think if we're going to bring inflation down towards the two percent and have it stay there, so that'll be their challenge. Convincing you use a the really market. interesting, yeah, mm -hmm. you use a really interesting phrase, Thomas, and that is, if the market bullies them. Do you think that the market <laughs> has bullied them? I mean, do you think that the Fed, that Jerome Powell would acknowledge that that sometimes has happened, or that that is a factor? The market reaction is a factor in what they do or how they say things. Sure. I, I, I don't know if he would he would admit it. I, I, you'd have to ask him that. But I think the market ha has in the past and would do it again, you know, become, uh, at, you know, from the start of the taper tantrum on. Uh, they react really strongly. That forces the Fed to rethink the, their situation. They don't want a volatile market. But I think the Fed has to. And I think given Powell's recent speeches, at least, I think they're committed to saying, all right, we're going to get there and we're going to stay there until uh, rates, until inflation comes down. And we're not going to uh, be um, pushed too fast.